Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Fiori BTP training with me Anubhav. In this live video series, we are going to learn about how to build a end-to-end -end Fiori application on SAP Business Technology Platform, which utilizes the Integration Suite API. In our current episode, I will discuss about the use case what we have today and demonstrate you the integration suite API which we had built on top of which we would like to build the application or the Fury application in Cloud Foundry BTP environment. Before we start this class, if you enjoy the sessions and the free video series on YouTube, kindly share, like and subscribe this channel so that we can bring to you lot of another set of content free of cost on YouTube. So let's get started our today's class. So what we want to achieve here in our current requirement. First, I will explain you the requirement in today's episode and in subsequent lessons, I will show you building the end to end application and deploying to Cloud Foundry. So in my company, I have a team where I have integration experts. So let's meet Rob, who's the integration expert in my company. Rob have experience of working with SAP BTP platform and in SAP BTP platform Rob is creating the integrations using SAP integration suite. SAP integration suite allows companies developer community to integrate cloud and on premise solutions together where it works as a middleware. We use cloud platform integration to create iFlows to flow the data between different systems together. There are different kinds of adapters available like SOAP adapter, OData adapter and different mechanisms to also include scripting like GUI, uh, Groovy script to integrate your content from one place to another. So what Rob has done, he has created an integration flow which basically takes the data from his classical ECC system. So in his company, he has an ECC system and in this ECC system, he has a BAPI. So he created already a, uh, a integration with this ECC system via cloud connector with BTP and then he is calling a SOAP service which is part of the ECC system eventually calling a BAPI and this data he is reading here in integration suite inside BTP and then he has created an API on top of it. Yes, so that is what my integration expert Rob have done in his company using the BTP. Now our goal is to build a Fury app. So meet Anubhav. So Anubhav come into the workflow for the company and he have been asked to utilize the API which is being exposed by Rob out of integration suite which is on top of a SOAP API and SOAP API usually returns a XML data which is also converted to JSON by Rob. So Anuo has to use this API, this simple plain REST API and then build a application in SAP BTP. So again Anuo will be using the BTP platform. Anuo work as a solution architect come a developer for Fury application and he would like to now build a Fury app. So what the Fury app should do? It should call the integration suite API and then it should be available also in BTP Cloud Foundry environment. So Anubhav will be using the Business Application Studio development tool to basically consume the API and to consume the API Anubhav will also develop a destination to fetch the data from this API and then using the Business Application Studio tool and this destination referencing this destination Anubhav will be building a multi-cloud Fiori application. This Fiori application will be built as a HTML5 app, of course, using UI5 technology, and ultimately will be deployed inside the BTP Cloud Foundry environment. And here it will be deployed as a HTML5 repository inside the HTML5 repository environment. That is what Anubhav is supposed to do. This is a very common requirement when you start adopting cloud and BTP in your company. You have one set of team which is responsible for building 
the APIs and doing integration via integration suite. And on the other side, you have another development team where you and me will work together to build this Fiori application. So that is our use case. So before I delve into building our Fiori application and the destination to do connectivity, I will quickly show the API. Our today's session is mainly focusing on understanding the requirement. So let me just go back now and show you the existing object which we had created. So I will switch over back to my BTP account and I will open the integration suite. And when I open the integration suite, I will log into my integration suite account. And eventually I will show you the integration packages which is built by Rob. And under the integration packages, I will have the integration flows or I flows, which is then doing a connectivity with ECC calling a SOAP based API via SOAP adapter. So this is the integration suite cockpit. And here if you can see that we have got the design integrations. And I will see this uh, package. And under the package all my integration content will be visible. So I go inside and you can see there are integration flows inside. And if I open one of the integration flow, for example, this one, you will see that I have an API which I am exposing out. This API is what will utilize the data from a customer system. So we are connecting to a SOAP API from an ECC system. And then we are converting the outcome from SOAP API, which is in XML format to JSON format. And this is the API which I'm exposing out for anyone to consume. And I will test this API directly from Postman. So this is my API endpoint slash HTTP slash test API. And I'm making a post call with some body, some data. And then when I trigger this call, it is triggering and getting me the data. So you can see the JSON response which is coming out. So this is the API which is built by another team member named Rob, which is an integration expert. Now our duty is to utilize this API, this API and trigger the post request from Fury app and ultimately get the same response in the Fury app and display it to the user. That's our goal. A fairly simple requirement, but not so easy to implement. So that will be our practical use case, which we will be implementing in the sequence of uh, coming episodes. All right, thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubotrainings.com. For in more interesting videos like this, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future. Please do share this channel in the WhatsApp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubotrainings.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Anubo signing out. Have a nice day and goodbye.